Did you know we have a video of you being born that went on YouTube? Okay, not video of you being born born. <laughs> but like, we did a video about you being born. Hi. Okay, so here we go. She has been bugging me. This is Minnie J, by the way. Um, my youngest daughter. You are how old now? You're gonna be seven here six soon. Six and a half. You're over six and a half. Oh, yeah. So, I feel like a bad parent. My oldest daughter had her first computer at three. She built her first one at five, and then built it again at seven, and then at nine, like every two years. You're gonna be seven and you don't even have one yet. So that's why when Intel was like, do you have any opportunities for us to maybe build a computer? I was like, you know who? I know someone that wants a computer. Me. What game do you play? Uh, I play Minecraft and I play like, a, 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 of course I will play Roblox on my computer because I love Roblox. Which is why we went with the 3080. Yay. We interrupt this video to bring you a special message from iFixit. No, we interrupt this interruption with this interruption about new stuff from iFixit. We should have a graphics card, but inventory sucks. Fix the inventory problems with iFixit. Whoa, don't drop it. Can't fix that with iFixit. Just kidding, yes you can. Wish you could take iFixit with you anywhere, but your pockets aren't big enough. Introducing the new Moray. And the new Minnow. Take them with you anywhere. So get iFixit for your loved ones, or just get them for yourself. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things here. I, I can feel the jealousy already, and that's perfectly fine. Um, this is not technically your computer, okay? Because I guarantee at some point you're gonna get grounded and then it's gonna be my computer again. But, you know, one of the reasons why I think it's important to, if you have the ability to get your kids or your family members, friends, or whatever, especially at a young age, hands-on with this stuff, it, it alleviates a lot of the messages I get with people that are in their, their, their teens or their 20s, 30s, or even much older than that, saying they finally had the courage to build their first computer. My dad never told me no, that I couldn't touch any of the stuff that he had. I mean, we're talking Commodore 64s, Commodore 128s, uh, I don't know what you're doing over there, but we're talking like 286s, 486s. I was never told, ah, don't, 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 don't touch that. I was told, touch, be careful, be gentle, here's how this works. And look at where it led. So I, for, I firmly believe that my daughter should stop mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a firm believer, get your hands involved, get your kids involved, get, it doesn't matter if you're old, young, whatever. Start them young, don't tell them no, let them touch, let them build. And that's why I love building computers with my kids because of the fact that they get them started young. By the time they're older, they're not afraid of this stuff. There's plenty of adults that are still afraid of this stuff and our channel is designed to get everyone involved and take away the fear of building your first computer. So Intel sent us all this, a huge thanks to Intel. You'll find some links down below, um, but we obviously appreciate the support and especially the Core i9-11900K they sent. So the games that we're gonna be playing are what? Um, like Animal Jam, Minecraft, Roblox, like stuff like that. These are games that are, that are awesome for learning. Uh, Animal Jam is obviously a, a, a fun game for kids. Minecraft, as much as people go like, oh, Minecraft, such a stereotype. Hey, if you if you strip away all of the mods and, and the crazy games that a lot of they, that they've made on the custom servers, and you look at what Minecraft is when it comes to building blocks and when it comes to um, combining materials, making certain things with combined materials, planning. You start doing redstone. I, even I'm too stupid to understand the way redstone works. It's a great learning tool, which is why the fact that she's been playing Minecraft on an iPad and I watch her play on, on her iPad with my oldest daughter on her computer and I go, I failed as a parent. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing this today. The Core 11, uh, or the, the Core i9 11900K is clearly a lot of CPU with a high IPC that's gonna give us a, a good CPU performance regarding Minecraft. Uh, memory, that's the yellow box right there. 32 gigabytes of Vengeance LPX, low profile, ex, uh, extreme memory. 3,200 megahertz, 32 gigabytes. I see the jealousy on Nick's face. <laughs> That's, I know, he just, trust me, he's making the faces at me in person that you guys are all making, I believe it. The storage, which is this box right here. That's our Samsung 970 Evo NVMe ter uh, one terabyte SSD. Extremely fast. And what's funny is if you go back and watch the video where I uh, had my oldest daughter build her first computer at the age five, and we compare the parts then to now, a lot's happened. Are you like Vanna Whiting over there? Can you do jazz hands? One terabyte's more than enough storage. Uh, and then obviously the 970 Evo is no slouch when it comes to speed. Motherboard. This one's a little interesting. I'll hold this one because it's kind of heavy. 
It's a, four, a Z490 Strix motherboard. It's technically a generation old when it comes to the 11900K. It should be a Z590 to be like the current full chip set. Uh, but it is still supported, same socket, and we might have to do a BIOS update to this, which will be interesting because I might have to throw a 10th gen in here to get the BIOS updated if this one doesn't have a flashback utility. Regardless, I hope it just burnt, not burnt, I hope it boots and works the first time. We should be good to go. But uh, definitely an overkill motherboard for what we got. For power supply, I threw my own in here. They had sent us a um, Corsair 850, which was a big, long power supply. And I wanted to keep things as small as possible because we have a limited space to put our computer. So I threw in the EVGA 750 G6. It's a smaller power supply, sleeved cables. Um, it's just a, it's a smaller package all around. There's still plenty of power to power the RTX 3080. <laughs> Do you even know what that means? <laughs> well, not to quote the Sandlot, but this card's worth more than your whole life, man. The EVGA RTX 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra. I hope it fits in the case that we're using, if you wanna know the truth. This, hey, you wanna hear, you wanna tell me a secret? Don't tell your sister. Yeah. This is way faster than hers. <laughs> Don't tell her though, because I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's our graphics card. Um, it's really heavy. To cool it all, we've got a Corsair H100i uh, RGB Platinum. It's not the Capellix one, but uh, we'll still get the job done, obviously. It's a 240 AIO, and it will fit in our IQ 40 or 465X mid-tower case. The only thing I'm worried about fitting here, honestly, is the graphics card, so I guess we'll find out. So what do you say? Are you ready to start learning how to build a computer for the first time? Yes. How long have you been bugging me to build a computer? Like, maybe probably like two weeks. I think like three. Try more like two years. <laughs> All right. So that was a baby. You know what we do with foam? All right, here we go, moment of truth. Is it gonna turn on? Is it going to turn on? Three, two, one. We got fans turning, we got RGB. It's Do you love the rainbows? Yeah, Everything is rainbowing. Yes. Okay, are we gonna get an image on the screen here? Yes. That's, we're waiting to see. 
Because if we don't get an image on that screen, I think we need to update the BIOS. Yep, CPU is LED blinking. Oh no. All right, so that's fine. This motherboard has a BIOS flashback feature built in. Okay, let's talk about what happened here. You guys might notice there's a different motherboard in here right now. So the board that was sent to us was a Z490 Strix board from Asus. Now, Rocket Lake does work with previous gen motherboard, 490, but it requires a BIOS update. We got it to boot. We saw, uh, so I, we did our initial boot and then we had to do a BIOS update. Yeah. We got it to boot. And then what happens is when it turns on, then it updates Aura and then it updates the ME or the, the management engine. During the management engine process, it just shut itself off. Yeah. And ever since then, power button, nothing. RGB yeah. lights are on on the motherboard. Yeah. Nothing would happen. We, yes. we did a BIOS flashback multiple times on it. Didn't work. We even rolled it back to a previous version. The first version that said it supported 11th gen didn't work. Something failed in the ASUS BIOS flashback process. Yes. Fortunately, we had a Z590 board on hand, which is the proper yeah. board to have on hand. Yeah, right, right? You yes. tell them. Proper yeah. board for an 11th gen. So now she actually got an upgrade. This is the Gigabyte Vision motherboard. Yeah. And it, you know, I'm impressed. I gotta say, I have not yeah. used Gigabyte in quite a while. Even their BIOS looks good. Look at that, white and gold. Um, mm -hmm. There's more white accent pieces and gunmetal or uh, like aluminum pieces on this board that make it match this overall aesthetic better. Yes. All the RGB is going. Are you happy about the RGB? Yeah. I think we can make it even more RGB later. Ooh. So anyway. So yeah, she, she supervised while we swapped the motherboard, mostly while she tried to shoot us with Nerf guns and stuff because we were like, oh man. But you guys saw, you did absolutely perfect the first build. The CPU, the part we put the delicate part in where I said, be careful, I was nervous. Nick was nervous, we were all nervous, but you actually did it. High five on that. I'm super proud of you well, because- I get a prize when we go home? Yeah, the computer. <laughs> you get the computer when we go home. That's <laughs> so. what I meant. Well, I still have to install the operating system. I still have to get the games installed. I gotta figure out what monitor we're gonna put on here. I gotta get your drawer set up. So I got a place to put it. The setup process takes a while because now we gotta do the perfect setup. Anyway, um, no, it works. I just wanted to point out that absolutely like nothing that you did was wrong. It booted, every, every, everything worked. The problem was the Asus BIOS flashback completely screwed us. So oh I'm also God. a little surprised again that Intel sent us an old board for a new CPU. But regardless of the, of, the, of the fact, we did have a motherboard on hand. So let this be a lesson. All the older generation stuff, oftentimes if advertised, will support new generation with BIOS flashbacks or BIOS updates and stuff. Yeah, these are the kinds of things, the risks that you sort of take. And we did everything we knew how to try and kickstart that motherboard back before switching over. So if this has ever happened to you, then you know the frustration. As she's just like wandering off set. I think we're done. Did you have, come back over here. Come back over here. Where are you going? Oh, you're hugging it. <laughs> I was hugging my computer camera. Hey, what was your favorite part of the build? When you guys were getting all like, oh, when I was, when I, when it was the first part when I had to win these. When we were getting all nervous? <laughs> the yeah. CPU, yeah. And then my second part was, like this is my actual all-time favorite. When you guys asked me which color I want, just right as soon as my mind, it was like rainbow. Well, good thing it comes in rainbow already. Well, I mean, I think this is most people's favorite part right here, at least yeah. hoping it was theirs. Do you know, I don't think you understand this, this one piece right here that's all rainbow right there, yeah. that alone has made a lot of people actually probably not like you right now. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> yeah, she can cry while she's playing Minecraft and You mad, bro? <laughs> This, this 3080 is powered by the haters' tears as she's playing Roblox on it. Yeah. So. All right, guys, huge thank you to Intel. Links are down below for the parts that we used. Um, that's it, that's your first computer, and it's gonna last you a while. I don't think you need to upgrade for a while. No. So, all right, thanks for watching, everyone, and say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. So satisfying. <laughs>